put the whole culture of hip hop on the map in a place where you could see with the music. You've only got one shot, Eminem's most inspiring speech. I needed a break from the spotlight to rethink. You don't know my career. I went to treatment in 2005 and I just wanted to like it. I was attempting to figure out my route. Are you referring to my personal and professional goals? What I was doing? Where I was? So I wanted to. I knew I wanted to. I knew I wanted to step away from the spotlight. But I also knew I needed to keep making music or I'd go insane. There was a rebellion or fury in me that I couldn't hide. Because I'm white and this is predominantly black music, people told me I didn't belong and wouldn't achieve because of my race. And then you sell to those people. In addition to working with Drake, it was nice to play with the beats again. The album was started at a young age. I get things in my thoughts, like my mood, and I don't necessarily get them by listening to other people's tracks. It may also help with diversity. I'd get any idea and want to be able to build it from scratch. I adore hip hop. Growing up, I simply, you know, nothing else really spoke to me like it. I'd heard it all before. From Ice T to Fat Boys, LL Cool J, Run DMC, Beastie Boys, etc. I didn't know at first. I'd like the music. Before I'd even considered rapping, Cool J had me start composing rhymes when I was 12 or 13, which sucked. I wasn't good, but I had to keep practicing. I stopped for a bit, then started again when I was about 15 and started putting songs together. And then I was like, I'm starting to. I've never been good at anything else. So you always got only one shot and you need to hit it at the right time. Yeah, I, just, I wanted to pull back from the spotlight for a little while. Just, I guess, kind of reassess my whole career. You know what I mean? I, I ended up in rehab in 2005 and, um, you know, just kind of wanted to, like, like, I was trying to figure out where I was going. You know what I mean? Like, where I was going in my personal life and career-wise and everything, like, where I was, what I was going to do. So I kind of wanted to, I knew that I still wanted to, I knew I wanted to take a break from the spotlight. You know, it was, there was certainly, like, a rebellious, like, youthful rage kind of in me and there was also you know the fact of the no getting away from fact that I am white you know and this is predominantly black music people telling me you don't belong you're not going to succeed because you're this color then you want to show those people that you know I mean that was fun it was fun to just mess around with beats from scratch again and you know sometimes like I think recovery was the first time that I ever got really super open to uh, working with a lot of other producers yeah you know that was the most that I had ever done and you know aside from working with Dre yeah on that album kind of opened those doors a little bit I just loved hip-hop growing up as a kid I just it just it spoke to me more than any other music I had ever heard before from early like Ice T, Fat Boys, and then LL Cool J, Run DMC, Beastie Boys, and it just like, I don't know, it was like, I didn't, first I was a fan of the music. So that's kind of how early on I started approaching this record or this album. And, but sometimes like I may get something in my head, like an idea or the mood of something that I would want. And I'm not always gonna get that by going through different tracks that other people have made. They don't know what's in my head. You know what I'm saying? Before I even thought about rapping, LL Cool J was the one who made me like first start writing rhymes. And I was like 12, 13 maybe. You know, I wasn't good, but like I had to keep practicing and practicing and practicing. I, I gave it up for a little while, then I started again back when I was like 15 and started being able to kind of put songs together. I think maybe it helps with diversity a little bit too, with the sound and all that. But you know, I would get something in my head and want to be able to lay that idea down from scratch. I was never really good at much else. I don't know, once I found out I was decent at something, I just kind of focused and just, you know, went for it. It's one of them things like, as far as being a pop star or whatever, like I never intended to be any of that. You know what I'm saying? Like all I ever wanted to do was get respect from my peers and other rappers and all the other stuff that came with it was just confusing to me. The pop 
has always been about bragging and boasting and I'm better than you with this and I'm better than you with that. And I finally found something that, yeah, this kid over here, you know, he may have more chicks, like he may have better clothes or whatever, but he can't do this like me. You know what I mean? He can't write what I'm writing right now. And it started to feel like maybe Marshall's getting a little respect. I was writing music too, but I kind of took the producer's role even more so and stepped away from the mic. Even though I, I was still writing, I was still making songs, but it just wasn't, I wasn't making anything that I felt like was good enough to put out at that time.